pretty good job. I worked some fertilizer in with the tiller, so. I'm going to disc that spot this afternoon and uh, hopefully sow some turnips and mustard greens here before dark. Before this tropical storm, Irma. Right now it's a full blown hurricane down in Florida, but it's projected to come near here Wednesday morning. Of course, the rain might start as early as tomorrow night, depending on which forecaster you listen to. But anyway, the supposed track of it right now is the eye. It's supposed to be near Memphis around 8 a.m. Wednesday morning, which means I will be in that northeast quadrant where all the heavy rain and wind is going to be. Anyway, my brother's following me there in my Durango, pulling the trailer. I've got my tiller sort of tucked up in the corner over there. It's sort of hard to see from here. Well, that's the plan. Is to get this disc it up this afternoon. And, uh, if you can see it from here or not, with that little center section right there. Yeah, that's all I'm going to plant for now. And a couple of weeks later, I'm going to another section. Anyway, I'll get back with you guys here in a bit. Dad used the tractor and the disc the other day, and he's been monkeying around with adjustments on it, as usual. He's got the top link too short. The front is cutting in, and the back's not even hardly touching, so I've got to make some adjustments here. I gotta lengthen this. Well, let's see if I can find my screwdriver here. I was just planning on making one pass here. Well, it looks like I'm gonna to have to make another one right where I came through because those back gangs ain't even touching the ground hardly. shouldn't fuss and gripe too much about that. I don't guess. Hell, he's 75 year old. It just sometimes seems like he's forgot how to farm. <laughs> so, anyway, let me check this adjustment now and see what it does. I'll get back with you in a bit.
I just missed it. There's a 67 Ford Fairlane one up the road there. But I was too far away from it to get any good video. Oh well. I may not be getting no good video right now. I can't really tell. That's my brother on the little 150 Massey up there. We're going to carry it back up to the barn there on the hill. I'll be back to the turnip patch here in a few minutes. My little push planter. And uh, anyway, I'll get back to you guys then. Well, the wife and I finally made it back up here before dark. And I guess you guys can see those little furrows right there. We use the little push planters over there and we've got about two-thirds of this planted so far <coughs> excuse me we've got turnip greens down on this end and we've got some broadleaf mustard there up toward the middle and I'm getting ready to plant some evergreen I think that's the name of that stuff anyway it's got like a, a mustard spinach taste to it I'm not a real big fan of it, but a lot of people like it. Uh, uh, I said mustard, spinach, kale. Oh, it's just, it's got its own taste to it. But anyway, a lot of folks like it, but this little center section right here from, from this fur right there where my foot is, over to this other fur right here. This is all that we're planting right now. Uh, about two weeks I'm going to come in and plant about the same width right over there and then weather permitting two weeks after that I'm going to plant the two edges of the patch there but, uh, I don't think I've made a video of the other little turnip patch that I planted uh, the seed didn't germinate well there uh, it just come up in places and it's got a lot of grass in it the grass took it over <laughs> the grass germinated before the turnips did so therefore the turnips weren't able to put on a canopy to shade out the grass and I've had this right here worked up for several days right here in the middle, so it's had several couple three days of sun on it, so maybe these turnip seeds will get a head start on the the grass. There will be some morning glory in here though. I know there will be. There always is. But if I can get enough well it's these little uh, bush planters, they plant this thick enough that I ought to have a pretty good canopy. And uh, for the uh, for the weeds and stuff not to not to grow real quick. All right, guys, it's getting dark on us, and I guess you might be able to tell it's it's going to be foggy tonight. It's already a little fog around in there. So uh, we got to get busy here. We said so we got about two thirds of this planted. We're gonna get this other third planted and head on back to the house. All right, we'll catch you guys later. See ya.